Hello everyone, this is One Man One Camera. It's Saturday morning, July 8th, about 8.30 in the morning. Temperature 86 degrees Fahrenheit. It's going to be a hot one today. They say it's going to be 113 degrees Fahrenheit. And so because of that, I came up here early to get some footage of the uh, MSG Sphere of the Venetian. Alright, let's go and let's have some fun. Okay, so right now we are east of the MSG Sphere on Manhattan Street. And as we can see, this guy is getting bigger and bigger every day. Now it is viewable if you are on Twain coming in, if you're on Twain coming towards the Sphere, it is viewable from certain parts of Twain. So uh, that's interesting. When it finally lights up, I wonder uh, how it's going to affect any of the locals in the area. Hmm. All right. So now, check out the top of this place. The tip top of the uh, sphere so far, we have our columns with some uh, rebar sticking up. So I wonder if there's one more level to go or if that's the last level. I'm not really sure. And of course, over to the left, we can see Hera, I'm sorry, the Venetian, then Hera's. Where's Caesar's at? Let me zoom in on Caesar's. There's Caesar's. Let's zoom in. And there's Caesar's way over there. The high roller is in the, it's in the photo, it's in the frame, and so on. And then there's the flamingo. Behind there is Bally's. And there is the uh, Cosmo behind that light pole. And so on, and so on, and so on. And then of course, let's go to the right, pan to the right. And to the right, there's the wind, the encore, and Resorts World. Heading over there next. Okay, now as far as due date for this construction to be completed, it is sometime in 2021. But with all the things going on right now, and you know, with the the virus and so on, and the economy and blah blah blah, I'm not really um, what do, you, what do you say? I'm not really confident that they actually have a hard date when they are to open. And I could be wrong. Just my thoughts. Of course, I could be wrong. But, you know, we'll see. We'll always see, I guess. But if it does come off and everything calms down, this is going to be pretty, uh, a pretty snazzy place, to put it lightly or mildly. Pretty snazzy indeed. Now it's Saturday morning, I do not hear any construction going on right now, and Manhattan Street is empty. Okay, however, now behind this green, well you can't see it, can you see it? Let's see. There's a green truck right there, behind the green truck to the left there is a parking structure, and the uh, guys, the crew, they do use that structure to park in, and I've seen them, you know, on other days walking down the road back to their parking area but maybe there's a deal they park there and they stay off of the street I don't know so but like I said I don't hear anything going on from the uh, site then again there's one guy's walking by walking the perimeter that's his job today is to walk the perimeter to make sure things are okay so you know people are here but I'm not exactly sure what they're working on all right okay let's move down a bit more once again, I bring your attention to the uh, Wynn employee parking structure to the left of the MSG Sphere. That thing is like five stories high, I believe. And next to it, it's dwarfed by the MSG Sphere. Just to remind you, this place will hold 18,000 people or so. Uh, cost is $1.66 billion. A lot of do re mi. It's supposed to have this high-tech sound system which uh, does this haptic thing where you can feel the vibration of the music through the floors. Like I said before, it's almost like when you touch your cell phone and you have it on the vibrate when you touch, that sort of thing. Now they also will utilize this thing called beam forming technology which will allow various languages to be broadcast at the same time pointing at different areas of the arena. So if you have a uh, contingent from one area of the world who only wants to speak um, or who have a better comprehension of a certain language you can have the language beam to them, and so on and so on. Which I think is a great idea, and I'll tell you something. So years ago, um, when I was living in Tokyo, the, um, they would broadcast, as they do here, those uh, dual language programs 
I guess they call it SAP here. I forgot what it stands for. SAP? I think it's SAP. Okay. So my idea was, listen, you know, um, let's suppose you're a kid or a young person, you're studying a foreign language, and there is a movie on in a foreign language. Okay, great. But maybe the parents, you know, they say, hey, you know what, we want to hear a local language, but, but, the kid or the younger person wants to hear it in the foreign language because they're studying. So if they would have had um, that sort of beam forming technology back in the 90s or so, that would have been great, you know, because one channel would broadcast through the headphones in, um, in the local language because it was dubbed. The other channel would broadcast in the film language or the actual audio. And pretty cool. That was my idea a long time ago. Oh, well. Anyway, somebody's going to steal it and make a lot of money. All right, you guys, let's keep on moving. Okay, I just moved down a little more south on Manhattan to get a uh, different look of the place. And you see, there's all those woods being built. These wooden structures probably holding things in. Some more rebar over there. And so, um, yeah, you got it is looking pretty good, you know? And I do hope that this thing opens up, and I do hope the economy is ready for it. And you can hire a lot of folks, uh, have a whole lot of events down here, and everyone can consider this thing a winner. Mm -hmm. But right now, you know, who knows, right, what's, what tomorrow will bring, especially with this virus going on. So, all right, you guys, um, let's move over to Sand. Okay, so moved over to Sands, just north of the stadium, a bit of northeast of the stadium. And so what we can see is that a lot of the uh, scaffolding, which was here before, is now gone. And we can see straight through to the blue skies. So a whole lot of scaffolding is gone. Remember this whole area on this side, well, a lot of this, of this uh, structure was covered by scaffolding, and you could not see through it. But now when it, with, with the uh, progress and the scaffolding being removed, well, not scaffolding, I'm sorry, shoring, apologies, the shoring being, re being removed, with the shoring being removed, you can see right through. All right. That is pretty good. All right, yeah. Huh, it's going to be a great place once it's all done and uh, shiny. Remember, it's going to have, I forgot, but a ton of uh, super high defi definition screens on the inside of the structure. And also on the outside, they'll be able to broadcast what's going on on the inside if they want to. So people on the outside can see what's happening on the inside. Now, will they do it? I don't know. Because if it's a paid concert, do we really believe they're going to broadcast it on the outer shell of the place? Huh, maybe yes, maybe no. We'll find out, right? We will find out later, okay? Let's move down a bit more west and get another shot, and then we're gonna head over to the uh, Resorts World of Las Vegas, okay? So hold on. See, and like I said, there's a huge gap. Well, not a huge gap. Like I said, you can see straight through the structure and see the blue skies. Hmm. Okay, and here's an artist's rendition of the place. You see, it's nice and blue on the outside. People walking around, so it should be quite interesting when it's finished. There's always talk of adding a new monorail station, which will enhance some of the uh, transportation to and from the MSG, MSG sphere. But the renderings I saw put that thing, the station, right here. You see. Uh, on this corner of Cobol and Sands, but I have not seen any construction going on for that at all. So I don't know if it's just a, uh, a fever dream I had or someone wrote, wrote an article and I picked it up or whatever, but I don't see anything going on for that. Okay? All right, you guys, I think that will just about do it for today. This is your old friend, one man, one camera. Same to see me outside. Say hello. And I will say hello back. Take care, wherever you are, and have a great day.